I love the aesthetic of these games, and I cannot wait to be assaulted in my ears. You guys remember all of them. Like, all the jump scares are, uh... It's a car! All the jump scares are someone screaming in your ear. But I'll take it. If they made a life sim that was made, like, the way this is made right here, I would eat it up. I hear there's fishing. New game. Ah, uh, You know, in the iron bark, I got stuck for hours. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Sometimes I look at stuff and it just makes me want to vomit. Well, not vomit, but cry a little bit. Well, isn't this something else? Look at that. This will be horrifying. But playing horror games has worked. I'm not scared of anything now. Look at that. Look at that. They keep making more money, so they make like slightly better games each time. The whole game, they just spin Sosny up for maybe like five seconds of a melodrama. That's just how it works. Interesting. I wonder if this is based off of like a real building. Because like, I don't know how I feel about this. Is it meant to evoke a sense of freedom? You just keep it shut all day? It's like, oh, it's, it is, we're, we're not stuck inside a corporate hellscape. Speedy wonder, mine never does that. Mine like for about a few minutes and then it pees out. That's why I use we use the word pee out because it's definitely not going that fast. You don't need a lid. Oh uh, sure. These people are so needy. I, I think it's the one thing I remember every time. They have like a whole mental list. Like imagine if this was your life. I can't go this way. Well, I guess it is, you know, except you are the demanding thing with all the needs. I would not be here by myself. Like, I, I like creepy stuff. And in fact, I tend to be, this has happened on several occasions. I will go to like a dark corner of a room and sit in it. Cause I know no one will bother me cause they can't see me and they're not gonna go near the darkness. Of course, until people start wandering around and turning on lights. What in the prison environment is this? Is this like a work locker? I, I like this. This is so corporate. We're about to find out. Here's my bet. Wait a second. Does she care? Ah! Aha! My my exhaling radar worked. She I can't even open the door. The the, the we are a woman. Ah yes, my favorite. Pitch black. Well, not pitch black. Just the void. Why? Why? Hmm. Oh. I thought we were gonna pee. <laughs> that was alarming. Oh, that's cute. And, and the other one, we got to pee as a man. Now we get to pee as a woman. Oh my goodness. This is why I love Fears to Fathom. You get to experience things you never thought you'd experience. Did you hear that? You know there's going to be a co-worker in here. Co-worker? Yeah, I had that, but uh... Come on, dude. You look like Del Fresco. Are you going to sell me some chicken tenders? I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. How are you, Dale? Not too bad, ma'am. I was just finishing up my cleaning rounds. Our girl is a quiet peer. I, yeah. How do you not know we were in here? When I pee, it's like a jet stream. Too bad, ma'am. I was just finishing. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You working late again, huh? Yeah. Well, you young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too, Dale. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. I'm telling you, once you figure out these horror games, they don't get you, unless it's a cat and mouse. I can't, I can't deal with like continual being chased. That's why I can't play Alien Isolation. Dude, I'm still in here, shove off. I'm not done. Fine, fine, you look like a creepy smile though. Mm. I wash my hands with my cup of coffee. I hate bringing drinks into a bathroom. It's disgusting. Get, get out of my way, Dale! Dale! Ah. Duh. These people. 
That's my new favorite saying. These people. Let me just make myself have to pee immediately again. <gasps> it's a phone call! Okay, this is giving like Tokyo Drift vibes, except definitely America, which isn't as cool. Hello? Hello? Ah. Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Oh, hi, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, it died. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh. No. It didn't even it cut out on someone else, too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? I was just gonna... really wanted to see you. Do it at and the work. Nora? Nora? Spice, we have plot! No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. Yeah? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little um, bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. I'm gonna give it a sure. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Yeah? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. We have a decision to make. Hang up on him. He's weird. Who's Nora, huh? Is it my replacement? Well, I don't want you either. What is this? What do I want now? I'm going to stand and stare out the window. Ominously. Police, there's a man harassing me. Ugh. Oh, good throw. Okay, what's the deal? What am I doing? I don't want to pick up a guy. Can I just shut down my computer? No. No. Calendar. No rainbow sheets. Unable, sure. Um, hmm. 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 I won't. Um, how about Twitter? No, no. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I gotta rent a cabin. No, no wonder. I didn't actually type that. It was just going anywhere. I'm going to Tim. No, Tim Buck 2. Okay. Rent a cabin. This is scary. This is like trying to find a roommate on Reddit. Can I just book any? It's over our budget. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's three of us. Are we like a polygamy couple or something? Like, what is this about? Entire home, why wouldn't we go for this one? It's only 350, it's three people. We all work a job. Okay. Even this is sketchy, that's just a trailer. That's, that's not a cabin. Mm, the neighbors are scary. Bull crap. Why is why is this one so expensive? And this one even has less reviews. What is this? Visco's really going down. Okay, sure. Perfectly placed cabin. Oh look, I, I would love this actually. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, I would need people to do it with. I have people. Um. But I want to go to a cabin in upstate New York and just get eaten by a windigo. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. By who? By who? When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove your worth which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. 
I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work, and my other friend Nora was quick to jump on board as well. Ooh. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Okay, so it's just it's just not not no relationship though going on here. It's just Dude, chill. We are in public. <laughs> Afternoon chilly today, eh? Hi. Oh, I haven't seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. Oh, he's seen me around. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. You want to know where I live? You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. That's right. I am on the 10th floor. Cool. Anyways. You too, bud. You too. You go get those groceries. Snow. Snow. I love snow. Pulling into... Hi, Sydney. Thanks, Rick. Five, one, okay, lockbox. 51 says 76. I'm down here. Don't rush me. Oh. Oh. I like how I hold this. It's so violent. Hey! Oh, that's my best friend! <laughs> Put it in. Dude, he's donkey looking. Hug. Oh, I'm so short. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Just a test hug to see if you smelled first. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the... Don't you shower for every occasion? People who tell you they showered for the occasion is alarming. You look good. Thanks for picking me up, Mike. The old old truck brings back so many old memories, does it? Right, this bad boy's been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. People don't care about their luggage. There's a cooler back here. Can I just like... Alright then. Are you ready to hit the road? Well, Nora's gonna meet us at the cabin, right? Okay, give me your bag. Give me. Okay, fine. I'll stop goofing around too hard. I wanna get to this cabin. I love cabins. As long as they have like, you know, basic modern amenities. I don't wanna live in a hut. I wanna live in a cabin. There's a difference. They did this one time and now it's like contractual. It was starting to snow. Yeah? Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. Dude, don't try to make something special out of nothing, man. Like, let the snow fall, enjoy the moment. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. I'm gonna be such just, like, non-committal. Funny how that works. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Okay, yeah, sure, how's the job going? Working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends is pretty cutting. Oh my goodness, you're so boring. I'm not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. I know people like this. I think I used, it might have used to be him. Uh, you know, I never understood what do consultants even do. We consult! That sounds like important work. It is. We consult people like you, I imagine. Harm, do you ever miss college? Uh, no. Right, I guess the only good thing that came out of the college was us. He's trying to be romantic. School? Did you see that school bus? There was a school bus. Okay, maybe it's different in Vermont. Down here, school buses are everywhere. And it's usually like a farmer that owns it. 
turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've heard people on the internet doing that. Are you a little too alarmed about the school bus? Is there something I need to know about Vermont? Do you guys have like a school bus law? Hit the deer, hit the deer, hit the deer, hit the deer. Came out of nowhere and it was already there. That was close. You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer across your path is like getting a message from the universe. What, is it a message to shag me or something? <laughs> this guy's going pretty hard. He's gonna talk to us again here soon. That or it's gonna take a really crazy plot twist and we're gonna hit a bear. Oh. Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. He's gonna try to murder us. It's kind of beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. He's weird. He's weird. Get me out of here. I do not like when people try to force a conversation. Either talk about Warhammer or don't. That was cringe. Uh, that's not staying in. Dairy Mart. Yo, Harp, check that out. Car, the motel, Moe's Pizza. Pizza! Did you consult me about this, or did you just pull in here without my consent? You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. You know, me too. I'm actually, I could go for a pizza. All right then, Harp, Operation Pizza Pit Stop is go prepare to land. I'm going for some pizza. Okay, okay, let's have a quick chat, just because this is the sort of thing I'm into. Um, vibes and aesthetic. The fears to fathom, like they try to be scary. And it doesn't work on me anymore. Um, for me, it's the weird... I mean, I, I'll say retro. Where are you... Wait, the, the boy, you get in there, I shall be there when I get there. I'm looking at the snow, okay? Chill. Okay. But, like, look at that. It's just it's so picturesque. Yeah, it's a little bit creepy, but, I mean... Come on. I, I actually... I, I love creepy stuff. I, and when I tell you, I wouldn't mind, like, a... Uh, like literally like a slice of life persona type bull crap with this creepy aesthetic instead of them just like screaming in my ear because they're gonna do it again this is the game thrives off screaming at me man you're donkey looking thank you this just in reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards woodbury as a pizza I absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperoni. What a nice old man. Thank you. Reminds me of a story. Oh, so what brings you to Moe's? We're heading to a cabin in Woodbury. Yes, Woodbury. Used to camp there often when I was a younger man. There's something about being out in the wilderness. Nothing but the stars overhead. Nice. Anyway, I'm rambling, young lady. You made a wonderful choice stopping here at Moe's. Do you come here often? It's full of memories. Aw. Nice. Dude, you eat what you want. About, you about twice a month. Okay, that's, that's fair. It's nice talking to you. I hope you show up when... He's gonna try to kill me. He's gonna try to murder me. He's gonna bury me in the cabin. Please help. Hi. <laughs> I'm role-playing as a uh, abductee. Evening, folks. Looks like the colds got everyone craving pizza tonight. I love this. Look at it. He's so happy. <laughs> you fine folks know what you want to eat. We'll get three slices each. Mamma mia. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Um, give me the special. Um, give me the special. Give me the special. 
I want three specials. Any drinks for you folks? You're gonna raw dog the pizza? I'm gonna raw dog. I don't want to raw dog the pizza, man. Oh, it's affordable. Actually, no, it isn't. I get full pizzas for that much. Oh, snap. I left my wallet in the car. Do you have cash, Harper? And you're trying to bed me? He's trying to bed me. He's trying to bed me, and he can't even pay for the pizza. Ridiculous. Sure. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat, and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready. Thank you, dude. I not not bad. Our journey begins with the best beef source in the I'm here for the pizza. In what way? You need some help? Maybe you can. All right, I'll help you out. I, he might want my body parts, but I don't know who wants my body parts more. You or that man over there? Interesting. You may have a fight on your hands, but the winner gets to have me in whatever shape, fashion, or form they want it. This is perfect. This is what a lot of games should be. Ah, the snow. The risk of dying in the winter. Not having a blanket in your car. It does smell good in here, doesn't it? Oh, it's Kim. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. <sighs> I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way! Hi! <laughs> she's, she's not gonna make it! <laughs> um... I was looking forward to meeting Nora, like, unironically. I was like, she's gonna, like, lighten things up. <laughs> Look at him! He did it! He's the client! That... Did you listen to Nora's? Yeah, I just saw. <laughs> That's a bummer! Guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Is this what you ladies feel like? Is... <laughs> Because if it is, I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Fishing? Fishing, right? Order number 27. Okay, I'll... I'll get the, I'll get the pizza. Oh, crap, he's coming up with me. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Help me. He's gonna... He's gonna do unspeakable things. You folks are all set. I help. No one can hear my plea. I'm probably not actually saying anything. Ah, my favorite part of this game, too. Consuming. Oh, darn. This pizza slaps. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb pizza. I know, right? Crazy. You don't eat the crusts. I eat the crust. Hey there, my friends. It's my man. Hello. I saw y'all pulling in the driveway. That nice old truck. That's right. Same direction? Where are you headed?
So. Okay, there's two ways to cook this, my friends. Either our college friend is going to take us by the throat and throw us out a window, or this guy's going to take us by the throat. Now, in real life, obviously, I would never let this man come with me. But in the context of this environment that we find ourselves in, yes, you can come. What do you mean? Don't you think we need to discuss this? Sure, feel free to jump in, bud. Oh. <laughs> That's, I'm so silly. Yeah, there's only two seats in the truck. Oh no, I would. Sorry. Oh no. Now he's mad at me. I'm sorry, okay? You're creepier than he is. He seemed harmless. Let me be ditzy. I'm just a girl. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I, I wouldn't let him ride with me in real life. I'd be like, uh, call an Uber. I'll pay for it. Uh, actually, I won't pay for it. But here's a $20 bill. Go to the motel. Have some fun. Okay, we are eating the crust. Wow. Darn, Harper. You actually eat the crust? I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. That's funny. It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? It's bread! You heathen! He just compared bread to a peel of an orange. I don't like this guy. If I can help it, he's not getting nothing. Uh, I'm not burping. Holy crap! That was good. All right, then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Let's see, if my GPS is right, it should be about another hour. Take a break while I drive, Michael. Take a break and give me, ha! What's the condition? Sure. Okay, that was easy. Okay, good steps. Good steps. He's 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 getting me over on his side. He's gonna get murdered, isn't he? He's totally gonna get murdered. See, I'm starting to like him now. This is Stockholm Syndrome. I love they had driving in one, and then they were like, every time. You will drive. Every time. 5.49 p.m. Good evening, Vermont. This is... WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. As oh, we embrace this is nice. the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ned and Altus. Stay warm and stay tuned. This is unironically what I listen to when I drive. See, I tell you, they make these games for. Woo! They make these games for me, kind of, except for the screaming. I lied, I don't listen to this. As soon as the guy started talking, I was like, crap, yeah, no, this ain't it. This right here, this is it. Don't fight, man, I'm trying to be something from nothing. You get some memories, cause there is plenty of me lurking in the streets, but you're certain that you're probably so just a scrap and a scream. You cannot pick up the phone, you cannot even write back. You think this all we're living for, isn't that sad? But if it's where we're headed, I don't want to recollect it. The current moment is a lonely feeling. You ever drive on the road and you don't really know where you're going, so you just, like, go straight and hope for the best? I do sometimes. This is a Christian channel! happened last time too they started cussing unbelievable ah i also enjoy the silence especially with these vibes i'd have my camera out so fast we take so many slow full speed you mean woodbury these aren't cabins this is a town
I would so come up the oh. I drove past a stop sign, my man. Is this the cabin? Where is it? I know you showed me a picture, but I oh here it is. Okay, we're here. And this should be it. I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. I yes I was. I was going to keep driving there. Are we getting out of what? I wanted to turn the car off. Jeffrey. I don't even know his name. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. We don't seem like close enough friends to be doing this. You know? Dude, look over here. There's a cellar. I'm going to get you killed. That's what I'm going to do. Absolutely delicious. Let me in. I always feel safer outside, you know what I mean? Like, what's gonna get me out here in a neighborhood? Hello. Let me unlock my door. Door's locked. I had to get the key first. Um, 5176. 5176. Delicious. I mean, I love looking at other people's houses. Okay. Yay, it smells so nice in here. Right, but I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. Can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. table with only two chairs. Okay, there's two couches. So this is enough for three. Okay, now this is cozy. Look at this. I like this a lot. I would hang out in here a lot. I, I'd probably have a cozier couch. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I like the wood. Most people don't. I do. Whatever this is doing right here. Big fan. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice room. Where does this go? It's my room, haha. <laughs> Uji. Well, this isn't like too alarming, cause like I, I imagine I would have a setup similar to this, but I imagine does someone like play in the closet. Is there someone here? <laughs> you rent out a house, but like your son-in-law has to come with it. It's like, yeah, I mean, he he won't bother. He stays in his closet. What about over here? Oh, not spooky at all. No access to guests. Sure. That's where he is. Okay, for a second I thought it was just this space. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. But this is... This is a little spooky. You gotta... You gotta put in some effort to have your basements not be spooky. Like, I, I would definitely put some effort if I lived above it. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm leaving that light on. Oh, this music's being so overdramatic. Mike was inside. Sure. Where's the groceries? Where'd you put them? Oh, here. Milk. Milk. That's a lot of milk, Mike. Yogurt. Ah. Yogurt. Uh, bell peppers. Lettuce. I can already tell you right now what we're making. What is that? No meat, just milk. Come on, guys. I had to close the mini fridge. It's a cooler. You northerners are weird. This is not a mini fridge. It's a cooler. Woo! Sorry about that. You don't say that unless you just got your butt blasted by that toilet. Uh, long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Hart. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Yup, it's cute. Sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be right back. Our bags. Thanks. I'm just gonna put us in the same room. I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night and he's just gonna be there. A double vanity in a downstairs bathroom. 
Ew. Ew. I'd let this baby air out for a moment. I get to pee again. Yay. I like how it was a game in the other one. And this one is just, it's just like a drain bar. Which really cracks me up. Oh! Ah, text Rick. We're good. Heart XD heart. She's not coming. He was gonna give me crap about that later if I didn't do it. I hope you know that. Let me out. Oh, I was crouched. I guess you can't. Interesting. If you're crouched, you can't cross. I'm out of the potty. You feeling better after the drive? That was fast of you. I'm good. Want to check out the house? Oh, look at that state-of-the-art animation. After you, you guys saw this, right? Like, is this? Is that just? No, it was a. And I ruined it. Oh, he doesn't exist. It's all a figment of my imagination. Sketchy staircase, but I'll take it. Okay, so, oh look, it has one of those little useless corners. I guess I would put it in the door over there so it's not so useless. <laughs> ah! oh! I hate you, stepson. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's so cheap. It's so cheap, that's so cheap. There's no effort. It didn't have to work hard at all. You scared us, you creep. Oops, I died and I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home sweet home. <laughs> what a lovely young couple you are. And um, yeah, we're just friends. Oops, she died initially me. We didn't expect anyone else to be here. Oh. <laughs> I was looking out for my cat earlier and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working and he scared me on purpose. He was texting me. Thanks. You know they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go with that TV. He looks really upset to have his day interrupted. Speaking of that, folks here let me show you around right now? Yeah sure, give me a tour, I'll take it. Oh my goodness. Ah. Gosh man, these games are such a cheap job. What are you doing, man? Get out of my way! Uh, here's your shower. That'll make things feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. And the sink doesn't work, unfortunately. That would annoy me. Let me show you your other bedroom. So, a little creepy bathroom, but I'll, I'll take it. A little interchamber. I'm not really sure how I feel about this space. Look, Harp, this room has a nice view. Think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Well, show me the view. What do you mean, view? Are you, I guess I'm coming. Stop rushing me. These people. Okay. Well, I guess of the creek behind the house. He's gonna choose this room, but in no world do I think I would choose this room. It's creepy and looks musty. But I guess if you got that room, you could claim this bathroom to yourself. Yeah, you definitely could. Yeah. There's a cute little room here. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad y'all folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. Alright, folks. Let's head back in before I catch the cold here. The creek? I mean, it's very picturesque. I wouldn't, it's not like the best view in the world. I don't know what he's going on about, but. Yeah, okay, I eat. I like the bridges there. This music needs to chill. I think I'd be like just spooked out enough with him creeping around the shack he said he'd let me stay in. Okay, so there's one bed, two bed, two beds. 
Well, I, I'm going to have to take this one, right? He wanted first pick, but I got to sleep with Nora, right? No. Harper, you could sleep with me. Here's the storage room. If you need any tools, extra blankets, or whatnot, it's all in here. And if the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. I'll take that. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. He's going to assault my character. Chill, man. Go. I'm in here. I'm not leaving. Alrighty, folks. I see you stocked up on the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob. Turn the knob up for more cooling and turn it down for less cooling. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill has got out of control. Speaking of winter, I need to show you folks the water heater. How would we have ever managed any of this without you? I do not know. Creepy table, man. I, I just I hate that table. Are you coming or not, miss? Jeez. I would just turn this into like a studio in here. Nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire up. Okay. Look, it's telling me I'm going to have to do all this, and it's going to scream at me. It's going to throw sounds at me. Suspicious. It. What do you mean you can't open the door? The lock's on this side. Thanks for telling me that. Ha! <laughs> me too, man. Me too. Ha 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 ha! Looks on your faces. Ah ha ha ha! Come on now, I'm just joking. He's hiding bodies down here. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around a six out of ten. But you stayed. If I was here, I'd be here with like a group of men. So like a bunch of libertarians. So I wouldn't be too scared. Um, but now I'm just here with this guy, I would be a little alarmed, especially if I'm as short as I think I am. Alrighty, folks, snow starting to pick up. I'm going to hit the road. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, yeah? It's, it's Sydney. Ah, Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Thank you. Is it just me or is that guy super weird? Very weird. But you're weird too, bud. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on the TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Sure. Thanks. See you in a bit. I don't trust any of these people. Why why would this woman come out here with these people? I know she thought Nora would be here. But you gotta like make sure that your safety friend is coming. You know what I mean? Full clothes. We're getting soggy in here, mate. Soggy. We got a pee meter. I'll cut that out. I hear a TV. Am I like, am I naked or something? Hello? Hello? I just gotta expect that any and every door is gonna have some joker. This is a nice view. I like it. I like water towers too, like that. That's a, that's a pretty hefty water tower for like what I assume is one house's water supply. Cool. And uh. Just turn that off. Ooh. Hello. So I'm gonna have to hide in here at some point. 
If I have to run for the car, I hated that in the previous one. Hey, Arp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Planning to catch dinner? That would be pretty epic addition. Let's do it. Heck yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Sure, I'll, 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 I'll bite. <laughs> no wonder they want to marry me. I like that kitchen. I'm just going to shut the door. Well, this is cozy, personally. You want to grab the other fishing rod, Harper? Yeah, just give me a sec. I'm looking around. These people rushing me when I'm trying to gaze off yonder at all the beauty around me. Snap, I saw a baked carp. We'll need to catch carp, though. You up for the challenge? Well, first things first, we need the right bait. Please don't make rhymes with my name. Whenever you are ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're about to catch some carp, harp. I'll take it. You can be cringe. I don't care. Common carp. Cheese. Cheesy, boys. Okay. I got it. See, this is just Stardew Valley. Okay, now this right here is lovely. I would spend all day by this creek. Especially if it was snowing. Oh, I put, yeah, it's on, it's on the hook. Cheese bait. Oh crap. Oh no, it's it's the worst one possible. It's the worst one possible. Oh it's a blue gill. I'ma keep it. That's a great fish heart, but we're on a carp catching mission today. Don't tell me what to do. They made a fishing mini game, like the worst one possible too. When I fish, I don't want to have to do any effort at all. A carp! Ah. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. My man's not doing any work. This is hunting and gathering. You're supposed to be good at this. He's trying to seduce me. And you can't even catch a carp. People these days. Like what is that? It's not a carp. Unless he's catching a lot of fish, and I just don't know. Yay! We got two. Woohoo, just one more carp left. I guess um, I'm going to assume we're getting one for our friend Nora, who's definitely not coming, and if they do, it's going to be like the last second. There's a lot of fish back here. Looks like we got three carp. You want to head back in and throw these in the oven? Yeah, I do. Let's go. I do. In real life, I could sit out here for ages. In this game? No. Leave the rod there. I have some friends that would love this right here. Do the cozy vibes just don't get to happen anymore or something? There's only two of everything. I don't think he ever planned for Nora to actually come out here. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping a marinade? I'm not sure how to do it. Just take a bowl and throw in some ginger paste, cooking oil black. Holy cow, this is Stardew Valley. Oh look, how cute. Italian seasoning. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm so good at this. Some yogurt. Give me the yogurt. Did we know we were going to do this? He's been here before. He has been here before. He knows this is the only place that's $100. And he's trying to trap me. He wants... 
Well, we all know what he wants. But he's not getting it. I finished. Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole? Yeah, sure, got it. I didn't realize that he was cooking. I'm the gatherer. I guess we just just two for now. Sorry. Uh, Thirty minutes at. Weird here. Those carp are gonna taste amazing. Play some board games. Let's <laughs> play Catan. Sure, which one? I feel like I'm on a date. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. That would be locked, by the way. That would be locked all night long. Um, there were board games. There were board games. They were up back here. Yeah. Now, here's the question we have to ask ourselves. Is he in here? No. Uji board? Or, uh... Can I... I'm not playing Catopoly. What about Snakes and Ladders? Okay, cute. Dragon's Labyrinth, actually. I would probably give that a try in real life. Um, probably also give that a try in real life. Mega Rounds. Thanks. Okay, you know what, we might just do that. Um, okay, we have a choice. Do we want to be cool, or do we want to be slightly lame? Hmm. I'm not sure. William's not sure. I think I'd rather play chess, truly. I, I doubt it has any actual, <laughs> any actual, like, pertaining anything. Oh, crap. Okay, let me see. Crap, why is this such a hard choice? Fine, you know what? Let's see what he has to say. Oh, snap. Is that an Uji board? Holly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these things. I can't stand her spiritual nonsense. Hey. Remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? Oh my goodness! I can't. <laughs> go, let's go! Dude, there's gonna be a cannibal down here. It's literally Hannibal like there. Why did I choose this? Could I have just played chess? Would he have accepted that? Watch out for spiders down here. I would not be doing this, by the way. No, no cap. Okay, yeah, let's go to the darkest corner. Oh. I would be so glocked up. You have no idea. Everyone I would ever bring to an event like this would be loaded. You know what will make this even spookier? What now? Let's turn off all the lights. Turn off all the lights. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Let's turn this one off too. I can't turn that one off. At least I'm here with him. Are you gonna talk to me or what? Let's play. Spooky. Anyway, do you know how this works? Yes. All right, then you go first. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? No. Maybe. Mm, a. Yes. No way. Are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? I don't care. If, if this turns into a ghost haunt, instead of just some dude breaking into the house, or this guy trying to toss my sauce, then I'll be okay with it. Did you live in this house? 
Gotta ask yes or no questions. It's easier. My turn. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. This is like ASMR. Holy cow, Mike. Talk about absolutely ditch-dogging me. Ha! Ha ha ha! Oh, you baby! You little chicken scaredy cat. You weren't gonna defend me? Some freaky crap going on there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. I'll say, I'll, I'll make it softer. Ah, uh, would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fighter fight? I'm a fighter, honey. Uh, Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? At least the carp's ready. See, we could have just played chess. He probably would have been like, I saw an energy board and maybe go get it anyways. Holy iron fist, my man. You guys saw that, man. He raw dogged that thing. I'm scared. <laughs> Grip me by the neck. Jeez. Well, iron hands. I can't even stab him. How would I defend my... How would I defend myself here? I'm gonna... Let's see here. I can make... Do I... I have to sit next to him. He's gonna make me get up to turn on the TV. He is. What a little princess boy. Mania, where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot of salt. Salt is good for the bones. That's one of the scariest things After about this game, these or these games. The salt they bath, have the weirdest we videos. We can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this in a pan I've seen weirder. of Irish tofu. I've seen weirder. I'm not gonna lie. Ah! This is oh, gonna taste like shit. Stretch! Oh, here you are. Oh, it's anyway, the stretch of the day. Cooking oh, it came. That was the stretch of the day. Green of the mayonnaise. We we gotta inject it with. You know you have a stretch every day. I I do at least. Make sure it doesn't revolt one against really good one. Us. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the oven. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Gasoline-soaked ramen. Eat the head. This dish is extremely hard to make. A dish only it's for really good. experienced is good. I, It would be really good if you caught it yourself. Requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will need is gasoline and ramen. But we're taking a break. It's not work. This I'm just waiting on shipment really details for my new soul. DS. Almost like All a right, I'll clean up here. Cleanse. What we a little... begin by pouring the gasoline into this pot. I don't like that trippy crap. It's too weird for me. I say, as I, I, I'm into some pretty odd stuff, but not not that peculiar. Where's the trash can? Here we are. Can I just there? What is my what was happening? Had to get the plates. I had the plates. Is this the trash can? What do you mean you don't throw it away first? Not me, I'm following the processes. I have a great time here with my friends. Hmm. 
Michael Carter. I think there's something under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? It's gonna be him. Where do you, he's, it's a surprise. I bet it's Nora or something, something stupid. Okay, it's just scream at me, okay? Ah! Yeah, of course it is. I knew it as soon as I opened the door. What the heck, Mike? You're lucky I didn't break your nose. Half my charm. Don't mess them up. Dude, you got... You look like Picasso. You look like a Picasso painting. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. Come on, it was a joke. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide-and-seek? This devolves quickly. Fine. All right, you're on. I'll count to ten. There's only one place in this whole place to hide. I'm gonna go straight for it. No! Oh, crap. Fine, fine, fine. You know, the longer and the more I talk and the louder I talk, because he's not gonna go in the basement, I don't imagine. Okay, can't open the door, so I'm gonna go back here in this creepy little... I decided to hide in the nook under the... me <laughs> that wasn't even a challenge i figured you would you would be good at this since i never find you in the city that's funny maybe you need to look harder oh all right my turn to hide now you better close your eyes and start counting I, I mean, as much fun as I would actually have playing a game like this, in the context of this, I don't like it. Because I'm going to open a door and it's going to do that screamy thing it does. You know? You know what I'm talking about. They're fishing. I'm trying very hard. He's, he's going to be like, you didn't say anything about not hiding outside the house. Oh. I should feel pretty safe out here. By the creek. Jump into the water. Swim away. Now, I've always wondered about, like, being scared in, like, rural areas, because there's so many people around. Like, yeah, they're sleeping and it's quiet, but, like, overall. Dude, he's, like, in his truck and gone. As creepy as he is, um, I would actually be really scared if he left. Nope. Imagine he's in the only other place in this whole place to hide. So over here. Got you. Fool me once. No kidding, Sydney. I, I really heard something up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I see this. No. That's called not our problem. That's called. Bop, 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 bop. You're taller than me. Why don't you go? I think uh, my shoulders are too broad to. Where are you hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? This guy, man, he's trying to, like, do something. What? No. Turn on the light, would you? Open. Oh, dear. Please be a rat and, like, not a person. Hey, little kitty kitty. It's a cat. Little attention seekers. I got one outside right now that's attention seeking my entire family. Oh, It's a cat. It's not too bad of here, actually. I imagine it's actually a pretty decent place to hide. A little spooky that, you know, there's a whole set up in here now I think the funny part is how I'm about to go back down there and he is going to not be there anymore oh are you okay what was that up there ha
What do you mean by that? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried that they were for a minute. I think she was hungry. But yeah, maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come and find you again. Uh, tool shed in the backyard. Dude, he's going to get murdered and we're going to see it. But he's also the creepy one, you know? Like, these these things are always, like, well, last one definitely wasn't predictable. But, who's to say? They're, like, based on, like, Reddit stories that aren't real anyways. He's a pretty good seeker. Like, he's definitely not checking the whole house before he comes to find me. Yo, dude, uh, I'm playing this for realsies. There's a man in the house. Okay, so we're not allowed to see it. It's just a little, a little spooky. Not a fan, because now it's gonna, it's gonna scream at me. Hello? Timbuktu, I'm not going in the basement. Yeah, I mean, well, obviously, it's the guy living in the basement. It's probably the homeowner. It's my imagination on it. And he's being, like, extra creepy. Hello? Gross. Hiding in the truck, maybe? No. Yeah, okay, here's exactly what happened. Uh... That create. Hey, I need a taxi, please. I'm gone. Crap. He went down here into the basement to get back inside the house. See? Look. It's the cabin owner. He wants to assault us. It's being creepy. Well, he's in the house now. He's probably in the attic. He's probably hiding in the attic. To be honest, I don't think I'm gonna find them. Creepy. <laughs> Rick, why are you back? He's getting sassy and defensive. This man is living in the basement. Uh, don't you know what tools you need? How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. Ah, oh, look, we need to go to bed now. Uh, no, Rick. She's being polite. We're into this house, and we would like to have it ourselves. Uh, we don't really want to have to... That's a bit of an escalation. I would leave. That was very stupid to say. It's just a peculiar time of day. And we could have been sleeping. Do I have a lock? Well, I, I, it's, I gotta sleep in here with the the attic shenanigans so like locking won't do anything weird people after locking the door but we debated what to do we agreed that there was something off about rick from the start it seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced in the end we decided rick was weird but probably harmless never harmless we had attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Ah, uh, that's, that's... Don't we do that? Don't we all do that? Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to go get some rest. Rip Nora. Dude, the, the night terrors in this game crack me up. 
truck moved. Hello, don't scream at me. Hi. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on your door. He's gonna do it. Sure. He's the bad guy. A storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Okay. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? It's him. What are you talking about? It's a Lifetime movie. What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. Placate. We're placating. I really need to sleep now. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Do I have to? Fine. We well, can schnoodle. Jeez. Thought, thought, thought. Harp, you know, I've missed this. Us talking. It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. What is this drama? Mike, where is this coming from? This is, like, I think every woman's worst nightmare. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I do remember it. Really well. I remember it being pretty awkward. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. Well, Mike, I don't know what to say. I mean, we willingly came out here with this man. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? I, I go get her, obviously. Um, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be allowed to go to go get her. What timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed, and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. I don't know who the bad guy is. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Okay. Um. <sighs> crap, because you know what this means. I'm trying to figure out who the bad guy is. I thought it would be him. I thought we were going to have a lifetime movie moment. But no, what actually is going to happen is he's going to leave. I'm going to be stuck here with the stranger, and he's going to try to kill me. Oh, without locking the front door. Of course. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure? Okay. Uh,
Are men this awful? Is it like... Drive safe. Creepy butt house. Now I'm in it by myself. Of course I am. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. She's not coming. Crap's gonna hit the fan tonight. Oh, bother. Fine, someone's at the front door. Sure, fine, I'll open it. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. This late at night. Well, if I open the door, he's going to immediately try to, like, murder me. He was probably waiting for my friend to leave. Well, why would I open the door? Are you trying to get me to open the door? I'm not opening the door. Okay, fine. Do you have any idea what time it is? Bad spider, you can sit on the porch while you wait. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here. You're not coming in. You can sit on the porch. Yeah, no, bad talking. Uh, I didn't make you guys right. And no cops around here. I'm dialing 911 now. Run. Relevant compared to how tired I was. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. So just so you guys know, in real life, in a real life situation, I would come up here. Well, actually, I would blast him at the door, but that's, that's aside the point. I would come up here, and it's actually probably a bad place to go. I'd probably go out to the creek. Well, but your friends are coming back, and you're probably better off up here. Like, he's not going to climb this. You can hit him in the head with stuff. They wouldn't have shown this to us if it wasn't somewhat important, so I'm leaving that stool right there. I hate, I, I hate having to make bad decisions. Thank you. 
forcing me. Don't scream at me, please don't scream at me. It's going to. Hi! He's the killer. I don't, I, duh, I think, I, th I, okay, okay, I think he killed the, the hitchhiker and took him into the basement. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. By the way, where's your friend? Uh, the other guy. Yeah, he should be back soon. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's the bad guy. It's probably he's gonna... Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's alarming. Yeah, go figure. Oh, crap. That's the end of everything. Some folks don't know when to stay away. I still didn't feel safe. What do you mean not safe opening the door? Hey. How about, uh, go to the basement and get me down here? Is he just trying to talk to me? Are you gonna... Cause like, I can't... I can't go anywhere. Yeah. Do I have to talk to you? Everything okay, miss? Awful late for texting, is it you're talking to? So my friends are almost here. Yeah! Yeah, I just overreacted. Uh, you just gotta play with it now. What'd you just say to me? Bad idea. I will leave when I want to. Bad idea. Do not make them angry. You need to leave right now. What do you want? You need to leave right now? I don't think so. If anyone's leaving this house, it will be one of us. Mm. Yeah. Okay. How far back is that gonna send me? Rick. Okay, better not send me too far. Good thing. Because I was like, if that sends me all the way back, I give up. Um, I don't know why I ran for the attic. I don't know why I feel safe up there. It's obviously like, open the door. Hey, bud. Oh my goodness, explain the situation, yay. 
Yay. Okay, do your thing. Okay, so the basement is the other uh, run to. Text me, Rick. That's pretty alarming. Yeah. Who are you? You need to leave right now, bud. Okay. One of your life. One of your life. Here's our game plan. We're gonna hide in the thingy. Then I'm gonna run for the attic. I, I just, I for some reason, I feel like both doors are gonna be closed. Hiding in the basement. Nice. in the bay. I gotta go get chased again. Run, run, 
run, run, run, run. This game is like kind of stressful. See, and now we wait. You know, he just said he called 911, so now now we we hold on. Can I not open a window? I guess these can't open. Up at the top here. He's been sleeping up here. Okay, fine, I'll go down. Whoa! <laughs> it's like, give me a chip, mate. That guy, mate. I just kicked down this door for you. He's going to be expecting later. I told him everything that happened after Mike left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. Ah. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But the cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. He was gonna kill him and he was gonna make me his housewife. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end he gave us a full refund. Got a hundred dollars back. A hundred honey dollars. He, he knew he was living there. That, that's what that little, like, no access space was. Survive through the fifth episode! Uh, Lily Peach. Yeah, she's, uh, some voice actor at YouTube. Maybe she's bigger than I think. Was cute uh <laughs> these are always cute to me um a lot of yelling I, I i feel like there's better ways to do horror I, I i once told people while acting that just because someone laughs doesn't mean uh the show is good like when you're performing um it's a sign that it's good it's a it's a symptom of good but you can have something be scary and have something be funny and have no one laugh and have no one scream you know like, uh, like Alien Romulus. I didn't scream at any point, but it was scary. Um, but yeah, I, I think they could take a point from that. You don't have to blare loud music in my ears to make me feel afraid. Like, you could just have silence. Like, I feel like silence is so much scarier. Um, especially if you play something like, um, what is it? Alien Isolation? Yeah, Alien Isolation. That, not too much music is going on doing that thing. It's just you hear the thing and I will give them some credit the being hunted part was interesting that that was different um, Well, not the chase. I thought he was gonna hunt me around the house and the property that that would be kind of interesting Oh, okay, I see Well, 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 
Well, well, well, thank you for joining me. This was a, a, a classic Crooked Gamer experience. Um, more videos coming soon. I promise. I promise. You gotta believe me. It's coming. Some good stuff. Good stuff. Until next time. Ciao.